turns out to be the winner. What if, what if, what if the whole thing's tossed in the House of Representatives? You know? Nixon wins. What? When do we get a chance to change the whole damn thing? It's always them. It's never us. 4.15 and we're still four short. Mm -hmm. What's, um, Dad going to say if we've blown it? It was rigged. <laughs> Mother. I don't know. It was God's will. That the uh, family gave everything. Dad said something. What? I knew he would. What? Every state I worked in, we lost. You realize well, that? Well, okay, we gave you the hottest states. Oh. Yeah, we gave you Nixon's Well, they, they, they didn't belong to him. We could have grabbed him. Well, that's over with. Now. Bobby, I don't like being identified with so well, much losing. Well, that's over with now. Don't worry. It won't matter once we've won. It'll be a family victory. Right? I call Michigan. Illinois. Dad doesn't forget. Mm. Well, he does not forget. Well, he'll do both once we've won. I won't they answer. Michigan. You know, just uh, sing Sweet Adeline on key the next time you're campaigning, right? <laughs> Hi, uh, Bob Kennedy here. How we doing? Hi, Ted Kennedy here. How we doing? Couldn't sleep. I can't stay awake. <laughs> You'll be first lady in the morning. There won't be anyone in the morning. We'll be public property. Thanks. It's frightening, all these people. These Secret Service people. They're just doing their duty. We haven't won. Then they'll all go away. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Yes. The only person in this country who isn't free to ask who I am, free to answer it myself. I have a rendezvous with death when spring brings back blue days and fair. It may be he shall take my hand and lead me into his dark land and close my eyes and quench my breath. It may be I shall pass him still. I have a rendezvous with death on some scarred slope of battered hill when spring comes round again this year and the first meadow flowers appear. What? From Mr. Kennedy. Who is this? Pierre, are you awake? This is Chuck Associated Press. Good morning, Mr. Salinger. Your candidate is now president-elect. Okay? If you want a statement, please. Yes. You? All right, we're on our way. Yeah! Oh! Any word from Nixon yet? Nothing. Yet. Well, we don't claim a win until Nixon concedes. I need him to give in. My God, it's so close. Why is it so narrow? Yes, but it, uh, you won. <laughs> yes, I think of the problems we're going to have with the new Congress. Did you have a mandate? I wish I did. A win by a single vote is a mandate. All right. God, Ohio hurts worse than my back. Who voted against us there? Well, certainly the Catholic issue, but also whites, women, high-income earners. Forget about Ohio. It's a win, and uh, it's, a, it's a miracle. Well, you can believe in miracles, but you can't always rely on them, Ted. I still can't believe we did it without California. Mr. President, can I have a statement, please? No, no, not yet. I need uh, Nixon giving in personally with his face in the nation, and I see it. Well, who says Boston's Jack Kennedy's home? Who? The family is Boston. That's correct. That's ridiculous. He was at college there. He goes on vacation there like he vacations in Florida. Look, in 46, why did he take rooms in a hotel when he was running for Congress? Because for 20 years, he'd been out of Boston. Who is this woman? This is Charles it's true, Joe. You forget that Joseph Kennedy was Ambassador Kennedy once bleated, I was born here. 
my children were born here. Here is America. What the do I have to do to be called an American? You see, he wants one thing and the other. If being Irish brings votes, Kennedys are Irish. But that's why he doesn't wear a hat, because he doesn't want to look like an Irish pop. They've got the best president they've had in a hundred years. Nothing. Still, she complains. Nothing changes. No, she's, she's saying we're, we're shanty Irish. It's the White House he's going to, not the outhouse. She's going to find out that woman's name, and I'll have her hide. That's what we're talking about. Who has 72 short days to form an administration. Around 80 top-level appointments. White House staff. Is this OK? Yeah. Likely disasters. Recession. Eagle Still no concession from Mr. Vietnam, Nixon. Laos, well, we know all this. Let's uh, have a closer look at the new first lady. That's fine, just fine. This is what you really want. You know it is. Didn't you realize it all along? Yeah, and that one day I'd be first lady. I always knew that. But, Jack, you have to understand, I'm not... Ethel or Eunice or Pat, I'm not a rah-rah girl. I can't shout to get heard amongst them. I married you, I didn't marry them. No, I am not Ethel. I don't tell a woman that because she has size 10 feet, she has clod hoppers. You could play football with those, kiddo. Now, that is what she said. <laughs> don't take it to heart. It's hard not to sometimes. I have to tell someone. Yeah. Promise you'll tell me. I'm not the politician. You can leave that to me as well. Seems to me like everyone has decided that already. Well, not quite everyone, but uh, they will. Come on. Herb Klein, Mr. Nixon's press secretary. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Nixon are resting. <laughs> Accordingly, I am instructed to read from this telegram uh, sent to Senator Kennedy by Vice President Nixon. <clears throat> Uh, I, I extend to you congratulations and best wishes upon your election. I know that you will have the united support of all Americans as you lead the nation in the cause of peace and freedom in the next four years. Well, uh, that's it. Thank you. That's it. That's it. That's it. I think he could appear himself. <laughs> no, it's fine. He didn't even thank his own people. Or did he? Worse, he never thanked the people who voted for him, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Why hasn't he shown his face yet? Well, he's going out the way he came in. No class. Hey! <laughs> Mr. President, Mrs. Kennedy. <laughs> You here our loyal, devoted, and greatly loved family and friends. You, you are all Kennedys. Rose and I now share our son with the nation. I am proud of you, Jack. From now on, I'll be about but in the background. <laughs> but I want to tell you, to confess that I am proud of you today, and I pray forgiveness for it. I'm proud of you all who share our name, Kennedy. your mind. Come to the armory. It's important. It's important to me. I don't want to be questioned and photographed. I don't want people to think I had anything to do with it. It's their generation now. 
I've had my day. Your family hasn't. Right. And you should be there, too. <laughs> Everyone will be wondering why you're not with Jack when he first appears as president-elect. That's right. They don't know it was nothing to do with me. I still think you should be there. Now, Rose, don't get on me, please. It's drill, it's all over. It's just beginning. I couldn't have done it without you. You ever think about today, uh, anything now? Where it would feel like now if we'd lost it? Did you? I thought about it once or twice. I could never imagine it. Never see us losing. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> what do retired campaign managers do? Who says you're retired? There's an election in 64. It won't be the new frontier anymore. Well, maybe we'll find another one. Meanwhile, the one we've got isn't too bad, is it? <laughs> I had a good time. Me too. But, uh, Bobby, I want a Kennedy landslide in 64. <laughs> Go and see Jack. Aren't you cold? Mm, I'm fine. Do you want to be out here alone? They'll make a good halfback like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have to be here all the time? Yes. Along with millions of others, I'm afraid. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Jack, I've taken everything all through the campaign, all the criticism, my hair, my voice, my clothes. But I'm not public property. I never will be. The kids won't be safe, you won't be safe. We're walled in. Well, it comes with the job. I mean, what about me? Well, I have a life of my own. I'll stand by you, sure, but if I fail, I mean, I understand. You won't fail. Kennedys don't fail. Oh, yeah. You'll be the best first lady ever. I know it. The whole world will know it. Is that Bobby? I wonder what's eating him. Oh, he's just beside himself. Ethel found him alone this morning, praying and weeping. I never saw so happy a kid. Here, read this. <sighs> On the occasion of your election to your great office, I salute you. The thoughts and support of the free world will be with you in the challenging tasks that lie ahead. Winston S. Churchill. That's nice. Now we're beginning. Feels so good. So very good. Mm -hmm. 